Hey, how's it going guys? Wonderful here. Today I'm going to be showing you an amazing exploit. This is going to be my exploit Vega X of E2.0.3a. So when you first get it, there's going to be no keys. You can just dive straight into it. As you can see, it's going to load. And then the first thing I'm going to showcase is the script hub. So as you can see, there's three pages. It's going to be one, two, and three. And each one has like a hundred plus things on it. So that leaves it with a total of like 370 scripts. And I'm going to be constantly updating this every single week. There's an options menu. And this menu is going to have a lot of stuff. As you could see, there's a simple UI, which is just a smaller version of the main UI. If you want something small, there's an easy mini game. I'm not going to showcase everything that's on this page. You guys can look through it yourselves. Like, get your own custom stuff. And yeah, you could also add custom themes. So you can drag your GIF, GIF, JPEG, anything on here. And then as you can see, it's like a custom theme. It just turns it into your background. You can add tabs. You can do default themes. You could remove them. But the best thing that you could do is when you put your, your scripts into the tabs, you could filter through them all. So I could put one script in here, one in here, and one in here. And then if I just join up into a game, I could just click attach and then OK. And then I'm just going to come over to the script hub and look. So I'm going to use Arsenal Auto Win. I'm just going to show you guys how overpowered this is. So if I come over here, I'm just going to run around a bit. Okay, now I'm going to come over here. Click Arsenal. Oh wait, I just got killed. Okay, the second I respawn, click this button. And then boom. As you could see, I went from 0 to like 5 kills in a matter of seconds. 9 kills, 11 kills. It's just gonna keep going up and yeah obviously it's a script executor it's gonna be working in any game but I'm just showcasing it in one and if you guys don't want to be so obvious with it you can come over to the script hub you can use kill all which you could like toggle at any moment you can go to page two or three you can look I put an arsenal GUI on here so there's some cool stuff on here you could do neon hub but yeah, so you don't only need to use like really obvious scripts. But I'm just going to be going into prison life really quickly to showcase some of the FE scripts it has. And I'll be right back when I'm in that game. Okay, so as you can see, I'm here in prison life. And all I'm going to do is just click attach. I'm actually going to drag this away for a bit. So just click attach and then OK. And then I'm just going to come over here, go to the script hub. And as you can see, there's one called prison life. I also have Prison Life GUI number 2, Prison Hacks V2, and then if you go to page 3, there's actually Prison Life GUI number 4. So there's like so many Prison Life GUIs, and they're all going to be working, none of them are going to crash you, no matter how many you have open. As you can see, I have 4 right now, it's also going to run infinite yield, so if I come over here, go to page 3, as you can see, I'm using infinite yield, it's also going to run I go here, Dex, it'll run Synapse Edition Dex, which is really amazing. And I know this is a lot of stuff on my screen, but yeah. As you could see, I could use Kill All. I can use Kill Aura, tons of other stuff. But all of this stuff is going to be working. I'm just showcasing it in, one, in like one single game. But like, there's hundreds and hundreds of scripts on here that I'm not going to be able to showcase so you guys can look through them all, test them out yourselves. And I make daily script videos on this channel too, so you guys could get some scripts from here. And then you could paste them into this box and then click execute. You could also do open file, which will let you open scripts directly from your computer and put them right into your game. You could also do save file. So if I type in something, like for example, I'll do just something simple, I'll do print and then hi, oops, I don't know why I did that, but if you just do print, just hi, something simple, and then I could do save file, and I'll save it to here, I'll just call it test, save, and then I could just open it, actually let me clear this, so I called it test, and then I could just do open it, and it's going to paste it right into here, so yeah pretty cool pretty simple easy to use 
Um, now I'm just going to showcase some easy fixes to some errors you might be having. Okay, so I'm here in my desktop, and I'm going to showcase a pretty quick fix to one of the most common errors people will be getting. So when they first open it up, when they go over here, it's going to load, and then for some people, the second it opens, it's going to give them an error. And the way to fix this, the easiest way is to just come over here, type security right here and then just click windows security click virus and threat protection and then turn off real-time protection and basically what this does is it prevents your computer from deleting the file for basically just a wrong reason and if you guys have under any other issues you could just look at this document i read i wrote so this is this is my youtube channel i have this paste bin link right here so as you can see i'm at this link and then i could just do all this stuff so as you can see there's um if it says please attach you could just do all this stuff i'm not gonna run through everything it says you guys can look at it yourselves but yeah so if you're having any issues that should probably help it and the only other issue i could think of is when you first download it if it comes up in a txt file you're gonna need to get winrar and basically, all you're going to have to do is come over here, and you're just going to want to type rarlab.com, and then come over to downloads, and then you're just going to want to click this button right here. It's going to download WinRAR for you. But yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure you leave a like, subscribe if you can, and as always, peace.